I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we go back to our data engineering playlist, and we're going to take a look at SQL Server's Select Top, which is a nice way that allows you to select just the top few records from a particular query. And uh, so you can select the top one record, or top 10 records, or 100 records. And we're also going to learn about one thing that you probably didn't know about Select Top before you started using it, which is very important for doing queries. So without further ado, let's get to our Select Top in SQL Server. Need help or coaching on your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description. Okay, so I've got a blank worksheet here. I'm using SQL Server Management Studio. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm using the AdventureWorks database, uh, which is one of the free ones that you can get from Microsoft to do testing and things like that and to, to learn on. And uh, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just show you this product table here. So I selected star from uh, product, salesLT.product, and you can see it's got all these rows in it. There's 295. In real life, you, you wouldn't do a select star on a production table. Uh, you would always use something like select top because um, if there's 2 million records in there, well, it's going to sit there, you know, while you're trying to look at something and, and it's going to uh, get too many records. It's going to take forever and, and who knows, it might even, you know, um, lock up on you depending on, on your environment. So. Uh, but there's a couple tables here. There's a sales order detail table and there's a product table. I guess I'll take the I'll take the product table. That seems to be an easy one for our discussion today. <clears throat> and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll paste that one in there. And now what we can do is in the most simple case, uh, we're going to say, you know, select top one from salesLT.product. And what it's going to do is based on the database settings, uh, for for sorting and how the you know the the table is configured, you'll get the first row of that table. Or if you change it to ten, you'll get the top ten rows of that table, and uh, that's really really handy. Or you can do say you know top one hundred uh, and so on. And so uh, you can see the hundred rows down at the bottom right there in the count uh, of the output. So. Um, when I hit F5, you know, it goes and gets the data, it comes back, tells me the count at the bottom right there. Um, you can also, uh, you can, just like any other query, you can say select top 100 and you don't have to get everything. You can get just the fields that you want. Um, so say I did select top 10, you know, of the product number. So you might have like a top 10 list or something like that of your products or, you know, salespeople or whatever. Um, so in this case, uh, that you know that that's where you could use top ten quite handily, um, and uh, you know we'll, we can throw on a list price there as well, and I'll, I'll sort of uh, structure this query a little bit more nicely, and uh, now there's a there's an explicit or an implicit meaning though when we say select top, um, we're getting the database order of it, and so one very important thing that we're we need to do when we do select top is to make sure that we specify an order an order by uh, clause on the end there and so now you can see that these are the top priced items in the list and you'll note that by using order by it actually uh, with the combination of order by with top it actually becomes like a where clause so it actually changes the filter of the list the almost like a where clause and so that can be very, very powerful. And that's what one thing that a lot of people don't know. They just say, you know, select top 10 of this. But actually, if you change the order by, it changes the records that are returned in the list. And so that, uh, as you can see, there's starting at W and going back through T, uh, you know, uh, women's tights down to touring 3000 yellow 58, um, you know, uh, that's a very, very powerful thing that we use when we use top. Now, if you're familiar with other databases like Oracle or MySQL or some other databases like that, 
Uh, you're probably familiar with uh, using the word limit instead. And so uh, this top is very, very similar to limit. Uh, limit, you always do at the end of your query uh, when you're in those other systems. But in, in SQL Server, we do it at the beginning with top. So this obviously won't work because this is SQL Server, but you would do something like, you know, limit three on the end of your query there. But, and uh, so that is how you can use select top in SQL Server. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to use select top in SQL Server. If you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you see the bell. And if you have any questions or comments, put those in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.